ready to go, Bob. Well, we can't leave without Leo. He was supposed to be here ten minutes ago. Here he comes. Sorry I'm late, Bob. I overslept. That's OK, Leo. You're here now. He was up late playing a game on his phone. Dad! It's really fantastic, actually. It's a fishing boat, you see, and it... Yeah, 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 it's a fishing game called Furious Fish. Look, I've got the highest score. Right. It's a work day, Leo. It's time to work, not play games. Yeah, I know. You're right, Dad. I'll put it away. Hop onto two-ton and let's go. Oh, see ya. Bye, Curtis. Bye, Alfred. Bye. Bye, mate. Like the Spring City Rockets are practicing their street dance show. Yeah! Ooh, how exciting! That was amazing! Oh, thanks, Bob. And thanks for building a stage for our show. Yeah! It's awesome! Where are you all going? We're working over there, Brandon, at Spring City News TV station. We're installing some important equipment for them. Spring City News are coming to film us later. Yeah, we're going to be on the 6 o'clock news show. Yay! Well, we better get to work then. Bye. Bye. See ya. Here we are, team. The home of Spring City TV News. What important equipment are we installing, Bob? Well, Leo, just about here. We're going to put a big spinning Spring City TV News sign. And up there, we're going to put a giant satellite dish. Uh, what's a satellite dish? Let me show you, Lofty. The satellite dish is what Spring City News will use to send out their TV programmes. Brilliant! They beam the TV news out into space where it meets a thing called a satellite. <gasps> Outer space. The satellite then sends the TV news back down to Earth so that people can watch it on their TVs or computers. That is awesome. So without the satellite dish, no one can watch the news. And no one can see the Spring City rockets on the six o'clock show. Exactly. Wendy and I will fix the sign and the satellite dish. Leo and Lofty, you two work on all the lifting. Fantastic. Of course we will, Bob. Huh? Hear that, Leo? Mm. Leo? You and me are a team? <sighs> team Lofty and Leo? Team Lofty, you? Mm. Lofty, you? Hmm... Oh, no! I'm not the highest scorer at Furious Fish anymore. Look, it says someone called Natty Fred is in the lead. You'll have plenty of time to get back on top at the end of the day. Oh, sure thing, Bob. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we can. can! Yes, we can. Here we go. Oh, brilliant. Oh, well done, you two. You both did a great job. Bob and I are going on the roof now, Leo. Can you and Lofty get ready to lift the satellite dish, please? Right -o. We'll call you when we've put the support post in place. OK, no problem. Come on, Leo. I mean... Did you hear what Bob said? We did a great job. Whoop, whoop. Team Lofty, you. Leo? Oh, uh, yes. whoopity do. Team Lofty. Le Team Lofty, you. Uh-huh. Lofty, you. Mm-hmm. Team Lofty, you. Oh, I'll just finish this game. 
I think Bob and Wendy want us to concentrate on the build. I am concentrating on the build. Are you OK? Yes, I'm back as top scorer. Take that, Natty Fred. Look, you can see the Spring City Rockets practising from up here. It looks like they've got Mr Bentley to make a banner for them. Wow, he's really good with a spray can. Almost as talented as me. Wendy, what are you... <laughs> it's the position for the satellite dish. I knew that. <laughs> OK, that's one loop secure. Just one more to... I don't believe it! Natty Fred is back in the lead. OK, Team lofty -O, we're ready for the dish. Uh, Leo, Bob is calling us. What? Oh, hang on. There we go. Hopefully that'll put me back on top. Hmm. Hello, Leo. Right, Bob, we're going to start lifting the dish. Thanks, Leo. Hoist up a little, Lofty. That's great. Now extend your boom. OK. <sighs> Start hoisting again. Mm. Uh, this feels funny, Leo. Should I carry on? Yes. Well, if you say so. It's escaping! Come back, please! Ah, there's nothing like one of Chef Tatty's nice fruit smoothies and a quiet walk by the river. Look out! Ah! Well, at least I didn't spill my... Ah! Sorry! Smoothie. Oh, stretching is important if you want to avoid injuries. <laughs> That's awesome, Mr Bentley. I didn't know you were so good with the spray can. Well, I do teach a few evening classes. Watch out! How did this happen? Why did you let go of the dish, Lofty? Uh, I... Um, it wasn't Lofty's fault. I didn't tie the dish on properly because I was too busy playing Furious Fish. I let down Team lofty -o. I'm so sorry. Our stage is broken and our cool banner's ruined. I've used up all my paint, too. And with the dish in the river, the Spring City Rockets won't get to appear on the six o'clock news show. What if I used my real fishing skills to get it back? If I work with Lofty as a proper team, we can hook it out of the river. That's a great idea, Leo. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! I'm so glad the Spring City Rockets got to appear on the news. I've got some news myself. I'm top scorer at Furious Fish. You, Dad? I don't believe it. You're Natty Fred. <laughs> That's me, son. 
Fancy a game now you've finished work? Dad! Oh. I think Leo has had enough fishing for one day. But, um, can I have a go? This new state-of-the-art penguin pool is going to be amazing. I think the penguins are really going to enjoy their new home. What penguins? I don't see any penguins. Where are the penguins? Be patient, Lofty. They're on their way. <laughs> They'll be here soon. Don't worry. Two tons bringing them over now. I hope everything will be ready when they get here. Of course it will be ready. Not much to do now. And what about Scoop and Leo? They won't want to miss seeing the penguins arrive. They'll be back shortly, Muck. Just as soon as they've finished the Mayor's new fountain and pond at the town hall. So, come on, team. Let's see if we can finish this job too. Most important visit, Mr. Bentley. Absolutely. And nothing can go wrong. And nothing will go wrong, Your Worship. That's what you always say, Mr. Bentley. But Mayor Snipe can be very difficult to please. We must make sure he enjoys his visit to Spring City. Don't worry about that. I've drawn up a list of all the exciting places around town where we can take him. There's no way he will fail to enjoy himself. I do hope you're right. What? With Mayor Snipe. He's here? Yes. Already? Yes, please be quick. I'll trust him to arrive early. Come on. <laughs> well, it looks like those two have a busy day ahead of them. <laughs> there. Well done, Leo. It's going to be great. Ready to start filling the pool? Where do you want this last rock, Bob? Uh. Over there, I think, Lofty. I can't wait for the pool to be finished and see those penguins splashing around in it. Not so fast, Lofty. <laughs> Steady now. Ooh, watch out! Oh, no. I'm sorry, Bob. I was just so excited about seeing the penguins. Uh, there's a nasty crack in the glass. We can't fill the pool with water till we get that fixed. It'll need a new window. I just hope we have time before the penguins arrive. Good afternoon, Miss Wendy. Bob. Where would you like these penguins? <laughs> Good question, Teuton. I'm afraid the pool isn't quite ready. Oh, dear. They're getting rather noisy back there. They shouldn't really stay in that crate much longer, Bob. Wow! What happened here? It was an accident. I'm so sorry. It's OK, Lofty, but we're going to need to find somewhere to keep those penguins happy whilst we're mending the glass. Um, Bob? What is it, Lofty? I think I know where we can keep the penguins. Somewhere they'll be safe and happy. What about the new fountain at the town hall? The one Leo's been working on? Oh, yes, it's perfect. Mayor Madsen is out all day. And you'll be finished here before she gets back. What do you say, Bob? I say, well done, Lofty. Let's go for it. Follow us, Tutan. Don't worry, penguins. You'll soon be splashing about without a care in the world. Right then, Wendy, Lofty, let's get fixing. Yes, Fixham Castle is a very fine example of medieval architecture. It's our oldest and most historic monument. Uh, do you have any ancient buildings in Riverdale, Mayor Snipe? Ancient buildings? I can't bear ancient buildings. A crumbling pile of old stones, if you ask me. Oh, well, yes, you have a point there, I suppose. Uh, but Spring City has some fabulous new buildings. And that's exactly what we want to show you next. Let's get the penguins out of that crate and into the water. There you go. 
yellow penguins. <laughs> Delightful creatures. They're not going to fly away, are they? Oh, no. They haven't got wings, you know. Those are flippers. They can swim, but they can't fly. They can hop by the look of it. They seem to like it, though. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as their new pool is ready, we'll take them back to the zoo. Perfect. As you can see, this magnificent stadium is Spring City's pride and joy. And home to some of our greatest sporting triumphs. I'm not very keen on sport. Lots of running about, jumping, kicking balls. Nah, not my thing. OK, right, you don't like sport. But I think we have something you definitely will like. We do, don't we, Mr. Brentler? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, this one is sure to be a winner. Here's the new window, Bob. Excellent. OK, everyone, we need to get those penguins into their new pool as soon as possible. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. to have missed one, Scoop. Oh, not that way. No! Stay away from the drive! Stop! Oh, it's lucky Mayor Madison isn't around to see all this. It's OK, Scoop. She won't be back for hours. As soon as that window's fixed, we can take these penguins back to the zoo. Whoa! Not over there. Hey, get back in that pond. Hey, you! Oh! Welcome to the Flying Saucepan. The finest food with the best views in Spring City. Can I get you a wee bite to eat? This building, it, it appears to be moving. Exactly. It's a revolving restaurant. A magnificent miracle of mechanical engineering. Fancy a plate of haggis and neeps. Ooh, I feel sick. Ooh. Oh, dear. Maybe we'd better cut short the visit and get you back to the town hall. Oh. This visit has been a complete disaster. I thought you said nothing could go wrong. Maybe he would like an ice cream. Oh, I wish that penguin pool was ready. This reminds me of the time in Patagonia. What's going on here? Who is responsible for this disgraceful, this outrageous circus? I am so sorry for this fiasco, Mayor Snipe. Rock uppers? E excuse me. Rock up the penguins! Aren't they extraordinary? So lively and full of fun. What? Yes, very nice. How did you know that I love penguins? Um, uh, well, I... Um... And you laid on this wonderful treat just for me. Thank you so much. We like to keep our visitors happy. Uh-oh. Hi, Bob. Turns out Mayor Madison's special guest really likes penguins. Oh, right. And that's why Mayor Madison has arranged for you to come back to the zoo and officially open our new penguin pool. Exactly. I'd always intended it to be the highlight of your visit. Oh, yes, please. I'd love that. Marvellous. Well, come on, everybody. What are we waiting for? I now declare Spring City's new Antarctic penguin experience well and truly open. This has been the best visit ever. Thank you so much, Mayor Madison. And thank you, Mr Bentley. Oh, well, that's... Uh... And thank you, Bob. 
Once again, you've saved the day. Mayor Townley is visiting next week. Really? I hear he likes elephants. What? And some parts of Fixum Castle have stood here for hundreds of years. Ooh. Since the days of princes and princesses and knights in shining armour. Wow. Like Sir Roger de Fixum here. He was the first knight of Fixum Castle. I am Sir Leo, a knight in shining armour. Charge! <laughs> <laughs> but Bob, where is Sir Roger charging to? Looks like he's going to charge through that wall. Charge! <laughs> and this is exactly where we're working today. You see, according to the original plans of the castle, there was a magnificent archway here so that Sir Roger could take a walk through the wall and beside the moat. Our job is to rebuild it so that people can walk through it once again. All I can see are these twisty trunks everywhere. That's our first job, Muck. We've got to clear both sides of the wall. So, let's get clearing! So, here it is, the old archway. All I can see is stones and, um, more stones. Here's the curved shape of the arch, Muck. Oh! These are the original stones, and these are the ones someone used years ago to block up the opening. Why did they do that? Maybe to keep dragons out! Or wicked witches! <laughs> I don't think so. Dragons and witches are only in fairy tales. Really? <laughs> What's that noise? Is it a dragon? It's coming from the statue. It's alive! <laughs> oh, it's only Mr Bentley. I was hoping for a dragon. Hello, Hello Mr, Mr Bentley. Hello, Mr. Bentley! Oh, uh, uh. Hello, hello, Mr. Mr. Bentley! Oh, hello, everyone. What are you doing here, Mr. Bentley? I'm looking for buried treasure. Oh. Buried treasure? Yes, it's my hobby. Uh, this metal detector detects anything metal buried underground. It might be a coin or a golden crown. Or a ball top. Could it find a ball top, Mr. Bentley? Uh, yes, yes, it'll find a bottle top muck. But what I'm looking for is the silver shield of Fixum. The silver shield? What's that? Haven't you heard the legend of the Silver Shield? No. no. Well, Sir Roger de Fixum was the kindest and bravest knight in all the land. Oh. The king admired him so much that he had this statue made of him, charging on his favourite horse and holding a shiny silver shield. Wow. But the story is that one day Sir Roger heard that an enemy was planning to steal it. So, one night, he buried the silver shield somewhere here at the castle, and here it has stayed undetected ever since. So, it could be anywhere. We could be standing on it right now. Right, I shouldn't hold you up. Back to work. Today could be my lucky day. Yes, back to work, team. Who knows? We might even find the silver shield ourselves. <clears throat> I rather think my MD4000 will beat you to it, Bob. I am Sir Scoop, the fastest and scoopiest knight in all the land. I am Sir Muck, and here is my silver... Uh, red shield. <laughs> OK, you two knights. It's time to open up the archway. There you go, Muck. You can dump that lot now. Bye, Leo. 
<laughs> now I've finished clearing up, I can look for buried treasure. Hmm. So where would someone hide a silver shield? Hmm. Maybe next to the statue. Uh, are you sure you should be doing that, Scoop? Mr Bentley is looking for buried treasure. I am just helping him. <laughs> Come on, Muck. Oh, coming, Bob. Don't do any digging without me, Scoop. So Roger is charging towards the castle wall. So maybe that's where the shield is. Okay, Scoop. You can help clear the stones now. <gasps> hey, Scoop, what are you doing? I'm looking for buried treasure. Scoop, stay still. Uh-oh. Don't move! <gasps> hi, Bob. Wendy, hi. How's it going? Not too well. We've got an emergency. We need props, cement and dizzy. Quick as you can, please. Will do, Bob. Great, thanks. Right, Leo? Can you get muck, please? But what's happened? You've made the wall unstable by digging at the base of it. Now it's starting to fall over. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Bob. I was just digging for the treasure. I didn't think about the wall. We need to support it somehow until Wendy gets here. Ah, muck, I need you to lift your front bucket and push it up here against the wall, please. Yes, Bob. Gently. That's it, good. Now, Scoop, slowly drive forwards. Uh... Oh! It's OK. Keep coming. Slowly. Phew! That was a close one. OK, Scoop. Now you do the same as Muck. Just hold it there, Sir Muck. You too, Sir Scoop. <laughs> One rescue party to the rescue. We've got the props, Bob. Thanks, you two. Dizzy, get mixing as much concrete as you can, please. Absolutely, Bob. Everyone else, we've got to prop up that castle wall. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Well done, everyone. These should support the wall until the cement dries. Oh, lovely job, Bob. Sir Roger can charge straight through the archway now. I don't think he's charging, is he, Mr Bentley? It looks to me like he's pointing. Good gracious me, you're right, Wendy. He is pointing. But pointing at what? Well, there's one way to find out. I'll use my laser pointer. Oh, my. That's where I like to have my picnics. Come on, Mr Bentley. This could be your lucky day after all. <gasps> oh, there's definitely something metal under the surface. Right, Scoop. Very gently this time. OK, Bob. Ooh. A shield of Fixum. Ooh, pretty. I said I'd find it. 
Once again, people will flock to see the Silver Shield of Fixum. How can I ever thank you, Bob? Don't thank me. Thank Sir Scoop with the Silver Bucket. Sir Muck, the kindest and bravest knight in all the land. Charles! Yeah! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, sires, but it's time to clear the rubble away. Oh! Courage, Sir Muck. A night's work is never done. How are we doing, Bob? Do you think we'll be finished in time? Of course we'll be finished in time! Yes, the new wing of the Natural History Museum will be ready for when Mayor Madison comes to inspect it this afternoon. Uh, Bob, why is it called a Natural History Museum? Well, Muck, that's because it's a collection of things that you find in nature, like animals and flowers. And some of them are from past times. Like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs! That's why these doors are so huge, Leo. So that we can get the dinosaur skeleton inside. A dinosaur skeleton? Oh, cool! Mr Bentley gave me all the measurements. The skeleton should fit in without any trouble. Wow! I can't wait! OK, Lofty. Let's get these doors in place. Excuse me? Door handles. I've left the door handles back at the yard. I'll have to go back for them. No problem. Plenty of time. We're almost done. OK, then. Muck can take me. You carry on here. And when you get back, Bob, everything will be finished. Great. I'll be back soon. A real dinosaur skeleton. I can't wait. Won't be a minute, Muck. Door knobs, door knockers, door numbers. Ah, door handles. <laughs> On earth. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like it. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> Cooper, stop that. I don't know what you're doing here, Cooper, but I don't have time to take you home right now. What are you going to do, Bob? You can't leave him here with Pilchard. You'll just have to come back with us to the museum while I deliver these door handles. And then I'll take you home. Um, you missed a bit there. There. Everything's ready. Uh, what's in the bag? Oh, just my sausage sandwich. I didn't want to miss the arrival of the magnificent Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I thought I could eat my lunch while you lot unload the skeleton. If you're waiting for a dinosaur, it's your lucky day. I've got rather a large one here. Very impressive. Lovely bone structure. Right then, let's get it inside. Oh, careful now. That skeleton is 65 million years old. Thank goodness it's not a new one. Slowly does it. Hold it still a minute. I've got to get some pictures. Brilliant! 
That doesn't look right. Ah. That is never going to get through there. What? But I gave you the exact measurements. What have you done? Oh, you told Bob the doors had to be six meters wide and three meters high. Yes. No. Oh, I, I, I meant to say six meters high and three meters wide. Oh, dear me. Uh-oh. This is very bad. The door is too short and the dinosaur is too tall. It's never going to fit inside. But it has to. Mayor Madison is coming soon to make sure everything's ready for tomorrow's opening. But there's no way that dinosaur's going to get through those doors. What about sideways? Scoop. Uh, there might be a way. If we take the skeleton to pieces, we can carry all the bones inside and then put it back together again. I don't think that's such a good idea, Lofty. We shouldn't do anything drastic until Bob gets back. But it's getting late and Mayor Madison will be here soon. I think it's a brilliant idea, Lofty. Come along, everyone. There's a T-Rex to take apart. Yeah, this thing is so fiddly. I think this one goes up here. Oh, dear. No, that can't be right now. Maybe this one. Ugh. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. This large one must be part of the, uh, leg. So it must go here. Uh, oh, doesn't seem to fit. Um, what about this small one, then? Uh, part of the tail, isn't it? Or maybe the left foot? No? Oh, dear. What on earth? What happened? Sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I was just trying to help. No, Lofty. I'm the guilty party, I'm afraid, Bob. I got this fellow's height and width the wrong way round. We couldn't get the skeleton through the doors. So we took it apart. And now we can't remember how to put it back together again. I'm sure we can fix it. Can't we? Oh, dear. It's like a big jigsaw, isn't it? If only we had a picture of what it looked like before you took it to pieces. Wait! We do! We do what? We do have a picture. Leo took some photos on his phone. That's right, I did. Oh, that's where that bit goes. Oh, yes. Splendid, splendid. Now, there's no time to lose. Let's get this sorted out before the mayor arrives. Now I can relax and maybe even get to eat my lunch in peace. No! Wait! What? There's one bone missing. But there can't be. It's impossible. Where can it have gone? <coughs> Cooper! <coughs> now what? Cooper! There's a good boy. Where's the bone? Come on, Cooper. Good doggy. Let us have the bone, please. Oh, dear me. Mayor Madison will be here any second. If only we had something tasty we could offer Cooper instead of that bone. What? Like a tasty sausage sandwich? But... but that's my lunch. Well, I think I can hear the mayor coming along now. Couldn't we just... Oh, well, um... Oh, all right. Here you are. Here, Cooper. Yummy sausage. Come on, boy. <laughs> Hi, 
team. Holly Hi, Madison. 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 Well, just fancy. Spring City's very own T-Rex skeleton. Any problems getting it here, Mr. Bentley? Problems? No, no, no. I supervise the whole operation. You know you can always trust me to get the job done without any fuss. <laughs> oh, 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 Mr. Oh. Bentley, stop playing with that dog. No. I want to see the dinosaur. I never knew Mr. Bentley was so fond oh, oh, of animals. Get off of me, down boy. Oh, 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 no, no. Okay, get ready, and... Ah, Mayor Madison, we're all done. Your doors are no longer squeaking. We used a couple of drops of oil on the hinges, and now you are squeak-free. <laughs> Bob, we're trying to take a picture. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry, everyone. Let's try again. Remember that this is going in the town hall newspaper. So give a big cheese. Cheese. Oh, cheese. Why is Mila going in the newspaper? She's appearing on the children's TV game show, Wizza Quiz. If she wins, she'll win a trophy for Spring City. That's brilliant. Time to go to the TV studios. Now give me some Spring City Rocket Slur. Go, Mila! <laughs> yeah! Go, Mila! Go, Mila! Ooh, 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 ooh! <clears throat> What's wrong? We wanted to be in the audience and cheer on Mila together, but we couldn't get tickets. I've just had a super-duper idea. Bob can build an outdoor movie screen at the sports stadium. Then everyone in Spring City can watch, all of us together, under the stars. Oh, but, but, Mayor Madison, the Wizard Quiz is tonight. Don't worry, Leo. I'm on it. Hey, guys, it's Bob. Hi, team. There's a build to be done at the sports stadium and the whole of Spring City is counting on us. OK, team. You heard, Bob. Let's get to work. All together, we together. We're working as a team. Busy doing lots of jobs to help your family. Just hold it steady, Lofty. There. Done. One square frame to hold the giant TV. So what's next, Leo? Hmm. Let me check. Yoo-hoo, Lofty! You'll never guess what happened. I had a super-duper idea for me and the Spring City Rockets to make banners. But now we need your help to hang them. Oh, I would love to. Marvellous! Come this way. Right, Lofty. Next, I need your help to attach one, two supports to the back of the frame. Uh, Lofty? Where'd he go? OK. I guess I can start building the support frames by myself, then. Wow! Look at the size of it! How big is the remote control? Actually, this TV doesn't have a remote control. My tablet will pick up a signal and send it to the TV. And then the TV show appears on screen. Wow! Here, let me show you. Have you forgotten your password again? Everyone knows that. It's, it's builder, builder number, number one. one! Oh, Bob. There. All the banners are hung. Hi, five to that. Uh, oh, uh, yes. Um, hi, uh, five. Thanks, Mayor Madison. You are so cool for thinking to make banners. Cool? Me? Well, then, how about another super duper idea? We could have a popcorn machine. 
I'll call Chef Tatty and see if you could collect it, Lofty. Right home. Can you help us, Lofty? Well, um. Leo looks okay, so yes, of course I can help you. Go, Lofty! Woohoo! Ah, oh, Lofty, thank goodness. I'm having trouble holding the frame steady. Oh, I'll just have to finish the job by myself. I've not done too badly so far. The TV should be working any moment now. The tablet's picked up the signal, but the picture's really fuzzy. How about now? Thank you, Dash Lightning. You Guys? Us from the green flying monster. Yes, was nothing. What do I always say? With a boom, zoom, zoom. lightning strikes twice. Well, I guess the TV's working. Go, Lofty! Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! Anything else I can help with? How about a drinks machine? One of those slushy things. I'm on it. Back to Chef Tassies. Oh, well done, Leo. You've finished the support frame all by yourself. Now all we need is the TV. Sorry, guys, but the TV needs to be switched off now. Oh, oh. Uh, Wendy, we need to take the TV to the stadium. But duty comes. Wendy! Goodbye. Bob, where have you been? We need to take the TV to the stadium. Now we have everything to cheer on, Mila. Thanks, Lofty. Ooh, that will be two ton with the giant TV screen. Lofty, get ready to lift the screen. And I'll make sure that Mayor Madison and the Spring City Rockets keep back. OK, Lofty, lift it up. Hold it, Lofty. Two ton, move out. No problem, Bob. Lofty, really carefully, please, move the screen towards the frame. There. And finally, we can take away the scaffold towers. That all looks nice and sturdy. Quick! The screen is falling! The supports are falling too! Don't worry, I'll help! Quick, everyone! Let's move to a safe distance! Now the frame is breaking! Leo, what happened? Why did the supports come away from the frame and why did the frame break? Uh, it wasn't Leo's fault, it was mine. I left Leo without any help because I wanted to help the Spring City Rockets instead. I am so sorry. But it is my fault. I should have never attempted such a big job by myself. Sorry, Bob. Oh, and I'm sorry too. I kept asking for Lofty's help. Wow, that's a lot of sorries and a lot to fix. So what are we going to do? People will be arriving soon to watch Mila. Wendy, call Muck and Scoop. We're going to need their help. Spring City Rockets and Mayor Madison, I need you to find something for people to sit on. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we can! And this time, Leo, I will make sure I'm there to help you.
So, Mila, to win the trophy for Spring City, here is your final question. What should you put on door hinges to stop them squeaking? Is it A, water, B, oil, or C, salt? I know. Bob used this on Mayor Madison's squeaky doors. The answer is B, oil. Correct! Yay! Go, Mila! You won! <laughs> All thanks to my squeaky doors. Do you think we could keep the TV in the yard? And whose idea was this? Wendy's. <sighs> Good morning, team. Morning, morning Bob. Bob. It's our last day of demolition, guys. Once this old factory is cleared, we can begin work on the new skyscraper. Great! I love knocking things down. It's so much fun. Scoop. Although not as much fun as building things up, obviously. The chimney's very tall. How are we going to knock that down, Bob? Oh, we won't knock it down, look. We're going to blow it up. Yeah, with explosives. Kaboom! With very controlled explosives, Leo. Oh, yeah, of course. Should we be using explosives? It sounds dangerous. Well, we've completed our demolition training course and we've got the certificate to prove we can use explosives. Wow! A certificate for blowing things up! I want one of those! But will the explosion make a very big bang? I really don't like it when things get too loud. But I love it! Big and loud! Come on! You scoop! So, team, can we demolish it? Yes, we can! OK, team, you work on the internal walls and girders here at the main entrance. Wendy and I will be demolishing the side entrance at the opposite end. With explosives? Not yet. One thing at a time. Right, right Bob. Bob. Ha! Nothing can resist the power of demolition scoop. Ah! <laughs> Ow. Sudden bangs and crashes are making me jump. I told you I don't like very loud noises. But we're diggers and builders and lifters, Lofty. We always make loud noises. I know, but I keep thinking about the chimney and the big explosion. And that's going to be mega loud, like kaboom! <laughs> like that. Can you not do that? What? Not even a kaboom. I still don't like it. <laughs> Lofty? Yes. No. Well, I'm a little bit jumpy, to be honest, Leo. And someone's not helping. What? What have I done? I only use the da-da-da-da like I'm supposed to. You mean the breaker? I love the da-da-da-da! Oh, yes. You do. Perfectly planned. 
Do you want the girders, Teuton? I'll come back for them, Lofty. Keep them in a new pile for now, thanks. Oh. Noise. Call that a noise? I remember driving across Iceland with only an angry volcano for company. Now that was noisy. I think I'll go and work somewhere quieter. Maybe Bob and Wendy need some help. And Demolition Scoop is going to demolish the marbles! Bob! Bob? Wendy? Ah. Lofty! Are you all right? Are you OK? I don't think my gaskets can take much more of this. You need to take more care, Lofty. We were demolishing those walls just as you arrived. I wanted to know if there was somewhere quieter I could work. Quieter? We're drilling, smashing, and knocking things down. That's a noisy business. This isn't like you, Lofty. Is something wrong? I suppose... I'm a bit nervous about blowing up the chimney. It is going to be very loud, but it's the last thing we'll do. We'll let you know when it's happening, so don't let it worry you. OK, Bob. I'll try not to. Have you removed all the girders yet? Teuton's going to take them away for recycling. I'll finish that now. Thanks, Bob. Scoop! Are you around here? Demolition Scoop! <sighs> Thank goodness. But it wasn't funny, Scoop. What happened? I was just having a joke with Lofty, but maybe I did one kaboom too many. Scoop, you should never joke around on a demolition site. I know, Wendy, but I got carried away. And now look what I've done. This is a problem. The chimney's been weakened on that side. If we blow it up now, it'll fall into the street. Oh, no! Does this mean you can't blow it up, Bob? Using explosives is the only way to bring it down safely, Lofty. But first, we're going to have to make sure it falls the right way. We'll start by patching up that hole. We're going to need a scaffold to get up there. We'll all help, Bob. Yes, and no more joking around, I promise. OK, team, this chimney is priority number one. Let's work quickly but safely. Got it, Bob. Got Good it, Bob. Secure, Wendy. Well done, guys. Is that what makes the big bang? This is the detonator that triggers it. We just have to wire it up and we'll be ready to go. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Don't worry. I'm sure the kaboom won't be as loud as I said. Lofty, I'm sorry that I kept scaring you. I didn't mean to. That's all right, Scoop but I just need to prepare myself. Oh, good plan. You breathe deep, in and out, think happy thoughts. Like kittens and tiny bunnies. Yeah, just like that. All done. Sound the warning, please, Wendy. <coughs> Here goes. All together now, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, 
Phew, that's a relief. That wasn't as loud as I expected. In fact, you were right, Scoop. That was really exciting. Scoop? Scoop? Where are you? Is it over yet? That was fantastic. Didn't you see? Um, no. I just heard it. Right, team. Let's get going. Time to clear this site. Come on, Scoop. It's all right. The Big Bang's over. No more loud noises today. If you say so, Lofty. <coughs> ah! 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 Oh, gull. Right, team. Today, we are going to be finishing the lift for the skyscraper. Brilliant work, Yay! Um, what's the lift, Bob? Well, Mark, when you've got a building as tall as this, it's far too high to get up and down using the stairs. So, we build a little carriage called a lift that you get into, press a button, and it will take you all the way to the top, where you can see the whole of Spring City. The whole of Spring City? I want to see the whole of Spring City. Can I go up in the lift? Please, 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 please! Sorry, Scoop. I think you're just a little bit too big to go up in a lift. Yes. Your back end would hang out. Oh. Tiny, can we have the loading cage, please? Coming right down, Bob. Thanks, Tiny. Now we'll head up to the top and get started. Can you lot load those materials into the cage for us, please? No problem, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Sorry I'm late. Hello, Bob. Oh, hello, Mayor Madison. Hi, team. Hi, Hi Mayor Madison. Madison. Hello, 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 Mr. Mr. Bentley. Mr. Bentley. Oh, uh, <laughs> hello, uh, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. That will do. Now, Bob, I'd like to go up to the top floor, please. There may be a bit of a problem with that. In as much as we haven't put the lift in yet. But I have to get my photo taken at the top for the cover of tomorrow's Spring City Chronicle. A man surveys her city. We're just about to start putting the lift in now. Maybe you could come back later? Oh, there is the service lift. No, I don't think so. We'll come back later. Mr Bentley? Oh, well, uh, um, we could come back at four. Four? Four it is, then. That means I'll have plenty of time to get my hair done. A mayor always has to look her best. Well, if the mayor wants to get to the top at four, we'd better get moving. OK, little guys, load me up. I wish I could see the view from the top. The whole of Spring City. You're OK, Gull. You can go to the top of the skyscraper any time you like. Go, Tiny. Time for some tower power. Wait a minute. Maybe I can get to the top of the skyscraper. And I won't need a lift. Let's get this lift motor up and running. Leo and I will bolt it into place, and Wendy, you can wire it in. OK, okay Bob. Bob. cage down again, please. We've got an extra heavy load to send up for Bob. Coming right down. One extra heavy load coming up. What are you doing, Scoop? I'm going to see the whole of Spring City. And 
I really do think that's a good idea. Don't you worry about me, Lofty. I'll keep my wheels inside the car at all times. Extra heavy load for the top floor, Tiny! Time for some more... Tower power! Can you see the whole of Spring City, School? Yes, all of it, Mark. Ooh, what does it look like? A long way down. I do think he likes it as much as he thought he would. Right. Now we've just got to install the lift car and the... That sounds like Scoop. Oh, no! What's he doing up there? Wishing he was down here by the sound of things. Whoa! Whoa! Stay in the middle, Scoop! It will help you, Mom! Tony, you need to lower the cage. Scoop's on board. OK, Bob. Going down. Did he go? Scoop, are you all right? Oh no! I'm balancing, but I'm not good at balancing. What are we going to do? I've got an idea. Tiny, lower the cage down to me. Wendy, we're going to need the welding equipment. Okay, Bob. I'll get the welding masks. <laughs> Okay, Tiny. Take me up. Nearly there. Take it in steady. Slow down. And stop. Perfect. Scoop. Bob. I need you to roll carefully towards me. I don't think I can move. You have to. I need to get you down. I'm really sorry, Bob. Now Mayor Madison will come back and the lift won't be ready. It'll be fine. Come on. Just move towards me. I can't. OK. Then I'm coming to get you. Bob's walking across the beam. No, Bob. That's dangerous. Stay where you are. I'm coming. OK, then, Scoop. Take it really slowly. Keep going, Scoop. Keep your wheels in line. That's good. Don't look down. You're doing great. Hold it steady, Tiny. Well done. Now keep your brakes on. Take us down slowly, Tiny. Are we nearly down yet, Bob? Nearly, Scoop. Nearly. I'm sorry, everyone. I just really wanted to go up in a lift and see the whole of Spring City. I said it was a bad idea. Well, at least you're OK. But it was a really silly thing to do. OK, OK, that's enough, you two. Right, if we all work together, we might still get the job done in time. Done. Hello, team. Mayor Madison. My hair is done, and I'm ready for my photo at the top of the skyscraper. You'll have to wear one of these if you're going to the top of the skyscraper. Oh. Right. 
We just need to call the lift. One for you too, Mr. Bentley. Thank you, Leo. Oh. Going up, all the way to the top. Well, at least you got to see the whole of Spring City, Scoop. I did. But I think this digger will be keeping his wheels firmly on the ground from now on. Ready for my close-up, Mr. Bentley. Oh. Uh... No! no, 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 no. Shoot! 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 Get, get off! Mm. Oh. Not Damn. sure she looks quite her best. I've seen her look better. Get off! Oh, do something, Mr. Bentley. Get some bird seed. What's the job, Bob? Well, Scoop, we're here to help Mayor Madison with her Spring City Heroes scheme. Spring City Heroes! What's that? The Mayor wants us to build something to celebrate the people who make Spring City such a great place to live. Wow! That looks cool! It certainly is, Leo. Each person who's chosen will get their own golden star with a picture of themselves inside it. Ooh! Every year, somebody new will be chosen to be a Spring City hero, and they'll get their own special star too. But, Wendy, there's no picture of anybody inside that star. That's because the mayor hasn't chosen anyone yet, Muck. Ooh, I wonder who she's going to choose. Hmm, I wonder who I'm going to choose. Yes, so do I, Mayor Madison. Whose face is going to feature on our very first golden star? There are so many hard-working people in Spring City, Mr. Bentley. Absolutely. What I'm looking for is someone with talent. Oh, yes. Someone with honesty. Mm -hmm. Someone with a vision. Someone with a moustache. Oh, I'm just not sure. It's so hard to choose. Well, I'm afraid, Mayor, that you'll have to decide pretty quickly. Curtis needs to know whose face he's going to feature on the first Golden Star so that he can get tracking and make it. Hmm. Curtis, yes. Oh, tell him I'm still deciding. Perhaps the answer is easier than you think. The garage, Mark. Mr. Bentley! Oh, I'm on my way. <sighs> Helpful as ever. Mr. Bentley! Oh. OK. You three break up the old pavement. After that, we can build the raised flower beds and lay the special new star-shaped paving stones. And Bob and I will get the stage ready for when Mayor Madison comes to unveil the first star. OK, everyone. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. So you're telling me that the mayor still hasn't decided yet? Yes, Curtis, I'm afraid I am. Well, tell her she needs to decide quickly. Otherwise, I won't have time to make the face to go inside the star. Don't worry, it won't be long now. I think she may have someone in mind. Somebody keen, eager to please, and, if I may say so myself, really rather good-looking. Oh, yes, of course. You mean Tilly the <laughs> Vet. Now, there's a real Spring City hero. Oh, the way she nursed my auntie's parrot back to health. <laughs> Marvellous! Nah. Ah. And how was the ice hockey today, Spring City Rockets? Brilliant. Brandon fell over nine times. It was only eight times, actually, JJ. Seatbelts on, everyone. Ready to roll? Ready to roll! roll! OK, we're late for lunch now, and you know I hate to be late. I'm stopping for nothing. Oh, look! It's Bob the Gardener. What are they doing? Can we stop for a moment, Betsy? 
Okay, then, seeing as it's Bob. Don't be long now! This looks interesting. What is it, Bob? Mayor Madison is going to choose a Spring City hero, and their face will be inside that golden star for everyone to see. Now! Oh. So who's it going to be, then? We don't know yet, JJ, but it'll be someone who's been very helpful to Spring City. I know who it should be. Betsy! Me? But... but... I'm just a bus! Safi's right. You're always there for us. Oh, I suppose. Always so thoughtful. Well, I do try. Always on time. Not today, though, eh? And your seats are so comfy. Hmm. I am quite plush. Yes, Betsy. You definitely deserve a golden star. Hang on. Betsy's a machine. If a machine can be a Spring City hero, maybe it should be me. You, Scoop? Yes, me. I can scoop and break and carry and drill. It's obvious whose face should be inside that golden star. But your face is too big, Scoop. It won't fit. No, not my actual face. They'll put my picture in it, Muck. Oh, I, oh, I get it. Oh, and Curtis says he needs to know urgently whose face is going to be inside that first star. Yes, yes, I'm working on it, Mr Bentley. Tilly, hello. What can I do for you? Mayor Madison, I heard about this Spring City Hero scheme and I know exactly the person you're looking for. Finally. It's so obvious, isn't it? Just what I've been saying. Jenny the Zookeeper. What? She's done so much for those animals. Jenny, yes. She would be a very worthy candidate. I'll add her to my list, alongside Chef Tatty, Sky Sampson, Henry Corner. <coughs> oh, and let's not forget Mr Bentley. Me? Really? Oh, how very unexpected. Oh, yes, I'm sure he knows some others who'll be worth considering. Ah. Uh, oh. Testing. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Great. May Madison should be here any minute to see if everything's ready. May Madison is coming. Brilliant. My chance to show her why I should be the first Spring City hero. We've arrived, Mom. Thank you, Philip. May Madison, on behalf of all the Spring City Rockets, we'd like to nominate Betsy as the first Spring City hero. Oh, thank you, Mila. Thanks to all of you. I'll add Betsy to the list. Hmm. I reckon it should be my dad. He's great. Curtis, right. Thank you, Leo. <sighs> Bob, would you like to add to the list? Mayor Madison! Mayor Madison! Oh. Look at me! Look at all the things I can do! Watch out! We've just laid those! You think that's good? Just wait till you see this! Scoop! No! Stop! Oh, my goodness! What's happened? Scoop! You've cut through a power cable! Oh, Bob, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry, Mayor Madison. This is terrible! What about my grand unveiling? No need to panic, Mayor. I am sure I can sort this out in time. Wendy? There's a lot of damage. It won't be ready until this time tomorrow. Right. In that case, if we want any lights and sound, we'll have to use the emergency generators. Wendy, Leo, Muck, you stay here and sort out the paving stones while Scoop and I go back to the yard. OK, everyone. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Oh, thank goodness for Bob. Mayor Madison? One, two, one, two. Over to you, Mayor Madison. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and machines. Ooh, I'm 
delighted to announce the name of our very first Spring City hero. Somebody you all know and love. Somebody who helps us all out and who is always there when you need him. And now, to reveal who will be on our first golden star. <coughs> Thank you. Bob the Builder! Huh? Huh? Oh. What a surprise! Scoop suggested you. He's a genius, that machine. Thank you, Mayor Madison. Thank you, everybody! Yay! Yay! Well done, Bob! Hmm, I wonder who'll get next year's Golden Star. Well, actually, Mr. Bentley, I've done quite a bit for Spring City myself. Ah. Oh. I still reckon it should be my dad. But what about Jenny? Me? No. You should get it, Tilly. Next year, it should definitely be a machine. Oh, definitely. Someone plush. Oh, Chef Tatty's done it again. His play cafe is going to be a huge success. I certainly hope so, Wendy. Thanks to all your hard work. I thought you were coming later, Chef. Oh, I'm too excited. I can't wait to see it all finished. It will be all finished in time for my party, won't it, Bob? Well, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we can! It all looks splendid. Glad you're pleased, Chef. Have you decided what colour you'd like for the walls of the disco room? No, but I've narrowed it down to red, blue, green or yellow, if that helps. Not really. Why don't we paint some test colours on the walls to help you choose? Fabulous. I'll pick one when I come back to do the party food. Oh, talking of which, I'd better go and buy all my ingredients. Will there be music at the party tomorrow? Aye, I'll put on a CD for everyone to dance to. You can't be serious, Chef. You need a proper DJ. What's a DJ, Wendy? Someone who's in charge of the music. They decide which songs to play, then play them in a special order. And the really good DJs create mashups, Muck. What? Like mashed potato? No, a mashup is when you mix two songs together, like this. Sing a bit of your favourite song, Chef. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I make the best spaghetti. The recipe I'll never forget. What do you think? Wow. Chef, you can really sing. Now, here's a recording I made of Wendy and my dad rehearsing their band last night. And they can really play. Thanks, Chef. And my phone's got an app that can mix together Chef's singing and Wendy's playing to make this mashup. Oh, I make the best spaghetti. Oh, that's amazing. Could you make some mashups just like that for the party, Leo? Oh, wow. Yes, I'd love to. You're on. Fantastic. Ow. See you later, DJ Leo. Well done, Leo. Yes, that's brilliant, Leo. But we need to get back to work. Wendy, can you help me finish off in the kitchen, please? No problem. What can I do, Bob? You help Leo, please, Muck. Sure thing, Bob. Are you OK, Leo? Well, the party's tomorrow, and I don't have much time to make all those mashups for Chef Tatty. Leo, we're nearly finished. Why don't you leave that till later? But I've just had a brilliant idea, Muck. Listen. Uh, uh. Mm, maybe not. Ah, but what if I tried? Have you finished that arch yet, Leo? Sorry, Bob. 
I was a bit distracted. OK, well, just get that arch secured, and then can you paint Chef's colour samples, please? Right away, Bob. Oh, and Mug, when you've finished in here, can you clear up any rubbish, please? OK, Bob, no problem. Oh. Uh, 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 one, two, three, four colours for Chef to choose from. That's it. I won't just mash up two tunes. I'll use four. Um, now, where did I leave my phone? <sighs> ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, Bob, Wendy, think I've messed up. <gasps> oh! oh, Leo. Chef's not going to be very happy. How on earth did you do that? I had this great idea for a mashup. I must have stepped in paint without realizing. I know you're excited about doing the music for the party, Leo, but there's still work to do. Sorry, Bob. I should have just been concentrating on the build. I promise it will never happen again. OK, but we'll have to paint over those footprints before Chef gets back. I'll get the floor paint. No, Stop. Leo! <gasps> what is that? Uh-oh. Uh, what do you think of my brilliant new floor design, Chef? I thought it looked like dancing footprints. But if you don't like it, I can easily paint over it again. No! Don't you dare! I love it! You're a genius, Leo. And you've helped me decide what colour the disco room should be painted. What colour is that, Chef? All the colours! One blue wall, one red, one green and one yellow. We can do whatever combination of colours you like. And I want more footprints everywhere. was a good day's work, everyone. Even you in the end, Leo. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I'll make sure I just do one thing at a time from now on. That sounds like a very sensible idea, son. You ready for our rehearsal, Wendy? Certainly am. But what we really need is a singer, Curtis. Well, I can't sing, but I can make cups of tea while you rehearse. Great. Good luck with your mashups, Leo. Thanks. I bet you're excited about tomorrow, Leo. Uh, yeah. You don't sound very excited. I thought I had loads of ideas, Mark. But now I've got time to concentrate, I realise I don't have any at all. Oh, Leo, I love that song. Me too. But I don't think I'll be able to make anything else that good. Wendy and your dad are amazing. Yes. They are. They really, really, really are. Oh, thank you, Muck. You've given me a brilliant idea. High five. <coughs> Ow. Oops. Thank you so much for all your hard work and brilliant ideas. You're very welcome, Chef. The party's bound to be a huge success. If your mashups are as good as your floor designs, Leo. Thing is, Chef. Yesterday made me realise it's much better just to do one thing at a time. But once we'd finished here, I didn't have enough time to plan for your party. So, I've had an even better idea. Will you be our lead singer, Chef? Leo's mashup of you singing over our playing made us realise you'd be perfect for it. What do you think, Chef? Are you ready for your first gig? Hey, I've always wanted to be a rock star. You really are a wee genius, Leo. 
I love this wee guy. Oh yes, I am the Master Chef Tatty. As soon as daylight comes, then I'm in my kitchen having so much fun with sardine sorbet and chocolate peas. I'm the one making a fishy ice cream or a sausage and marshmallow I'm proud of you, Leo. It's really brave to admit you can't do something and then ask for help, instead of letting someone down. Thanks, Bob. I think I'll stick to building and not DJing in the future. Practice makes perfect. Just look at your dad and Wendy. I bet you could be brilliant if you practiced in your spare time. Maybe. But we need to stop chatting and get on with our work. What work? It's all finished, and I'm going to enjoy the party. Didn't I tell you? Since Chef's playing with the band, I promised we'd serve the food and do all the washing up. So, do you want to wash or dry? Tangerine mustard and sushi fondue. I'm the maestro for mixing up food. Yo ho ho! Yo ho ho! Aye aye, Captain! Aye aye! Morning, all. Ahoy there, landlubber. Oh, I, I mean, uh, Bob. You all right, Mr. Bentley? Just a little vocal warm up before rehearsals. My new masterpiece, A Pocket Full of Pirates, premieres here at the Fixum Hilltop Theatre tonight. You're all coming, aren't you? Of course we are. Even better than that, we're here to update this old theatre for your fearsome pirates. Ah! Bravo! Oh, before you begin work, Bob, why not join us for some warm-ups? Well... Go, 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 Bob! Release your inner pirate. Give me a nice, loud, ooh ah me hearties. Um... Go on, me hearty! ooh ah me hearties. Mm. That was not bad. For a start. I thought you were amazing, Bob. Thanks, Muck. But I'm a builder, not an actor. Give me a spanner over a spotlight any day. Now, let's get to work. You should have said it like this, Bob. Ooh, ar, me hearty. Man the mizzenmast. Land ahoy! Work the plank, ye scurvy dog. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Stop it, you're too kind. Looks like your cement mixer's got talent. Come on, Dizzy. I've got a very important performance for you. <gasps> will I be on stage, Bob? Well, your cement will be. Oh. Let's get you mixing. Ciao, ciao, break a leg. I hope they don't. It's a theatre saying, Muck. It means good luck. Oh. Choo choo, break your legs. Dizzy, we need to use the quick drying cement in the green bags so that it sets in time for the play rehearsal. That means we won't use the slow drying cement in the red bags today. OK, Bob. Green, not red. Got that. While Leo and I paid the stage, Wendy will be building the ticket booth. Ready, team? Aye, aye, aye Captain! Captain. OK. The quick-dry cement set. Mr Bentley, you're cleared for rehearsals. Oh, good-o. Actors on stage now, please. Now, Wendy and I are going to build an audience box next to the stage for the mayor to watch the show. Are you and Leo all right to concrete this path on your own, Dizzy? Absolutely, Bob. Great. Quick-dry cement on this path as well, please. Trust me, I won't let you down. Oh, what a ding-dong I am. It's a disaster. <gasps> What's the matter, Mr B? I forgot the most important prop, my treasure chest. Now I have to go home and get it. You'll need someone to be in charge of rehearsals while you're gone. I suppose I will. Leave it to me. 
me, Mr. B. You're a lifesaver, Dizzy. All the swords and costumes are in the red box. Got it? Not the green one. Those are for the end of the play. OK, Mr. Bentley. Red, not green. Got that. As they say, it will be all right on the night. Wowee! A pocket full of pirates. Directed by Mr. Bentley. And Daisy! Showbiz, here I come! Where are you off to? We need to start paving the path. Which cement mix did Bob say to use? Oh, uh, green, not red. Red, not green. Uh, the red one. You sure? Definitely, positively. A hundred percent certain, the red one. Okay. Silver, me gimbers. <laughs> Sliver me gimbers. Huh? No, that's not right. Uh, sliver me gimbers. Oh, my cast needs me. All done, Leo. Uh, thanks, Dizzy. Pleasure, treasure. Ciao. Uh, ciao. Hiya. Now let's take it from the top, everyone. I want to be able to hear every word. Berlaces, please. And action. Land ahoy, I spy a beauty. Chowder, please. Treasure Bay, land of booty! At last we'll strike it rich by thunder and fill our ship full of plunder. Arr! More piratey, please! Arr! That's it! Brilliant! Avast! Here comes the pirate we all fear! Here comes the pirate we all fear! Brandon! Ah! Uh, Dizzy, where's my evil pirate hat and sword? Uh, green, not red. Uh. Dizzy, I'm out of cement. Coming, Leo. Your costume's in the in in the green box, Brandon. You sure? One hundred percent. Dizzy. Back in a minute, pirate crew. Where was I? Oh yeah. Here comes the pirate we all fear, Captain Beefcake. Beastly Buccaneer. Arr! <laughs> <laughs> Love your evil pirate hat, Captain. <laughs> huh? What's so funny? Hands off me gold, ye scurvy horde, or you'll feel the force of me fearsome sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! Wrong costume! Take that! Good. But I think we should have some time out from rehearsals until Mr. Bentley gets back. Ooh. Wow, Dizzy. You really brought the house down. Don't worry, everyone. It'll be all right on the night. Promise. Hi ho, I'm back. Oh, uh, is this wet? It'll be set by now, Mr. Bentley. I used quick dry cement. Good old. Looking good, Bob. Huh? Wait a minute. Those are slow-drying cement bags. Uh-oh. Mr. Bentley, hold it right there. Do not take another step. What? Oh, can somebody take this box off my bottom? I'm so sorry. I was distracted by the play and told Leo to use the wrong cement. Oh, Dizzy. Slow-drying cement won't set until tomorrow. How will the audience get to their seats? It starts in less than two hours. We'll have to cancel the show. Oh. I'm so sorry, everyone. The show's over before a single pirate has walked the plank. That's it. We'll build a wooden path over the wet cement with the spare planks. Great idea, Dizzy. Uh, thanks. I'm full of them. Right, mateys, can we fix it? Aye, aye, Captain!
It's done. Everyone ready for the show? Not JJ. He's lost his voice laughing so oh, much. We're one pirate down. It's a disaster. Well, it doesn't have to be. Bob could play JJ's part just for tonight. I couldn't possibly. Not without a few directing tips from me. <sighs> Who are me hearties? What's that glow? Um... Avast! It's treasure! Yo ho ho! Oh, yeah. Avast! It's treasure! Yo ho ho! Yo ho ho! -ho! Oh, that's brilliant! <laughs> well done, Bob! You were spectacular! <laughs> in fact, you'll be perfect in my follow-up masterpiece, A Village Full of Vikings. It's a musical! What do you say? Yo-ho! No. Gently, bently, bend the knees. Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh. Hundred and one. Hundred and two. Oh, hi, everyone. I didn't see you there. Nice try, Dad. Why is everyone acting so strangely today? Everyone's training to compete in this afternoon's fun run. Fun run? Ha! I don't see what's so fun about running. It's loads of fun and a great way to stay fit and healthy. The competitors will be running across the fitness trail we've been building this week. That does look like fun. I wish we could join in. In a way, we will be, Scoop, by finishing the final obstacles in the fitness trail. A rope ladder, climbing frame, and a swing bridge. Yeah! Hiya, Team Bob! Is everyone excited about finishing the fitness trail? Oh, yes! yes. Spring City's most famous athlete and world champion! Sky will be organising the fun run. Tell me, Sky, how did you manage to break world records in running, swimming, and the egg and spoon race? Never give up! Or forget your fruits and veggies. I'm a big fan of broccoli for breakfast. Broccoli for breakfast? Yuck! Bob, can we have broccoli tomorrow? <laughs> no, Scoop. You're a machine, remember? You have a diet of diesel. Oh, that's right. All right, everyone. We've got a fitness trail to finish. <laughs> you heard him. Let's go, Team Bob! Climbing frame complete. Super job, Team Bob. Oh. Huh. No time to rest. As a special treat, I've signed you all up for the fun run. Who's excited? Me. me. <laughs> Not me. Super. Then let's get training. First up, star jumps. Go, Team Go! Leo. Here's so. I'm exercising my thumb. How am I doing, Sky? Careful, Scoop. Sorry. I'm just excited about competing in the fun run. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, Scoop, but you're not competing. Oh, but I want to break a world record, just like Sky. I'm sorry, Scoop, but the fitness trail is only built for people. Speaking of which, could you two give me a hand with the swing bridge, please? We'll need to knot the ropes together. It's not fair. Everyone else gets to have fun in the fun run. Unless... Uh-oh. Oh, I've just had a brilliant idea! Yay! Whenever you see that something not brilliant happens... 
Not this time, Lofty. Guess what? We're going to have our own super fun spotting event. Diggers, dumpers and cranes, welcome to... The Muscle Machine Games! Yay! Hoorah! He's tall, strong and blue. He'll lift you up and carry you away. Please welcome... Lofty! Give it up for the big red dumper with the big red heart, Ma! That's me. Hoorah! And finally, he's the digger with the athlete's bigger, Scoop! <laughs> Go, Scoop! Thanks, Dizzy, and good luck, everyone. Especially me. As it's the first Muscle Machine Games ever, every event will score a world record! Yes! I can't fail. Round one, weightlifting! Ready, steady, lift! Oh! And the winner is... <gasps> the Big Blue Crane! Wow. I've never won anything before. Well done! Lofty, that's a new world record. How did you do it? Well, simple, really. Powered by hydraulics, I extended my arm upwards to achieve a superior height to my competitors. Round two. <laughs> Discus throw! Furthest throw sets the record. <laughs> I could do this with my eyes closed. Maybe you should have tried it with your eyes open. Oh! I'm red all over. You're always red, Muck. Well done, Muck. Uh, machines, I need you all back on site, please. Be there in a moment, Bob. Just after I set a record. Final round. Race to the far tree. Gentlemen, start your engines. Ready? Steady? What have you done this time? I'm sorry, Bob. I just wanted to be like Sky and break a record. Well, you definitely broke something. Oh, dear. The fun run starts in an hour, and we haven't even finished the rope bridge. Ew. Uh oh Oh, no. The game's not over just yet, team. We can fix this if we draw on our best abilities. Lofty, I'll need your amazing weightlifting strength. Sure thing, Bob. And Muck. I'll need your powerful bucket. No sweat. What's wrong, Scoop? Oh, I messed up everything for Sky's fun run. And I wasn't very good at sports either. And Scoop? Yes, Bob? You're an all-round all-star. I'll need your speed, ability and digging power. Yes, Bob? Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can.
fun. The most important thing about a fun run is to have fun! And eat your broccoli. Go! Wore a tracksuit. <laughs> Impressive roadcraft, if I do say so myself. that tire off there. Tonight is the Spring City Halloween Festival. That means we only have a day to build everything. So, listen up, team. Over here, we'll build a barbecue where guests can get their food. At the back, we'll build a trick-or-treat trail and an apple bobbing stall where they dunk their heads in water to get apples. That sounds really silly. I can't wait to see that! Over there, guests will paint faces on pumpkins. Behind you, we're going to build an entrance shaped like a pumpkin. And finally... <sighs> and finally what? What else is there, Bob? Tell us! <sighs> Floating above the party, there will be a giant ghost decoration. I love it! Oh. Oh. We don't have long until the guests arrive. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Ooh, this job sounds very scary to me. Don't worry, Lofty. Halloween's not actually scary. It's loads of fun! Yeah, loads! Oh, dear. Lofty, there you are. Ew. I need you to collect the ghost decoration from Curtis. Are you sure it has to be me? Yes, please. Muck and Scoop are out collecting materials. Besides, your crane is perfect for holding it. Well, uh, yes. OK. Maybe if I try not to get scared, I can do it. Thanks, Lofty. I knew I could count on you. And remember, there really isn't anything to be scared of. Hmm. So, Leo, first, you need to paint the timber planks a luminous orange. It's gonna glow in the dark. Wow! One load of timber! And lots of bright orange paint. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Wendy. We need to go and test the trick-or-treat trail. Wendy, every Halloween you try and play a trick on Bob. But you never get him. Then this year, I will. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, she got me all right. This must be the ghost. It sure is. Yeah! Curtis, you made me jump. Sorry, Lofty. Right, the ghost is all ready to self-inflate. You pull a cord first, then it fills with air. So be careful not to knock the crate. Boy, what will happen? Sudden movement will trigger the cord, so the ghost could fill with air when you don't want it to. <gasps> what was that? OK, Lofty, you can do this. Don't be scared. Just pick up the crate. Here it goes. I'm 
scared already? Let's get this goose delivered and quick! Lofty, where are you? Oh, I didn't lock the crate. Oh, super sticky play slime. Hmm, no, not good enough to trick Bob. Yes, this is a brilliant trick. It will definitely make Bob jump. So, what happens at these trail stops? Guests put their hand in the hay and pull out either a trick or a treat. Why don't you have a go? <laughs> hmm. Find anything? Yes! A Halloween cookie! What a great treat! Hmm? But I don't understand. You should have... Oh! oh. <sighs> More noises? Uh, who's there? Okay, no one. Only me. <gasps> I'm the ghost! I'm not scared, I'm not scared, I'm not scared! Yes, I am! Yes, I am! Yes, I am! This doesn't make Bob jump. Nothing will. Hey, Bob! Uh. Why don't you take a turn at this trail stop? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. What's this I found? A toffee apple! <laughs> Another treat! Wow! I don't get it. The spider was supposed to... <laughs> oh! 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 This entrance is going to be cool! Ah! Whoa! Get it back. This is all my fault. <gasps> I can help. I'm really sorry, Bob. I shouldn't have dropped the goose like that, only I was scared. And now you've been really brave. I'm proud of you, Lofty. Thanks, Bob. I've attached new wires so the ghost can stay here until we're ready for it. Oh, and we'd better put this crate somewhere safe. Then you'll be needing this. It was your keys that were rattling. And it was the crate that was creaking. I let myself imagine scary things when there weren't any. That's right, Lofty. 
There's nothing to be afraid of at Halloween. It's all about scares that are fun. Yeah, I see that now. Thanks, Bob. <gasps> oh, I can't wait for the festival to start. Then we'd better get fixing. Finished, and Wendy still hasn't managed to trick me. Hey, what's happening? I'm stuck. I decided to use that super sticky play slime after all. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, oh, ah, guys, hold on, there's a ghost. <laughs> we trick Bob. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. <laughs> I'd better stop because I just scared myself. Hello, Roly. You off to see Curtis to get your headlamps fixed? Yes, Wendy. I'm blinking everywhere I go. See you later. <gasps> oh. Whoa, okay. oh, no! No! Wrong way! One Betsy and four Spring City Rockets to visit the yard. Yeah. Well done, Safi, for winning the designer statue competition. Come on, the team are waiting for you. Morning, all. Hope you're ready for action. Here she is, the designer of this marvellous elephant. Oh, well done, Susie. Oh, really oh, really lovely. Oh, thank you. I drew the elephant to look like Mr Trunkers because he's my favourite toy. But last week, I was playing in the park. And I lost him. Oh, oh dear. So oh, Mr. Oh, Trunkers. Oh, that's a shame, Safi. Let's hope you find Mr. Trunkers very soon. At least you'll have your statue to remind you of him. Right, Wendy. Now, Safi, your elephant statue is going to be a water fountain. It will stand right outside the shopping mall. So everyone will see it as they go in and out. And it's going to be 10 feet tall. That's taller than two of you. Wow! Right, team, let's get going. And, Muck, I'll need you to collect the elephant as soon as it's ready and bring it to the shopping mall. Oh, I would love to. Thanks, Bob. We're going to have to work quickly, team. Spring City News is interviewing Safi by the statue at tea time. Can you build it? Yes, we can. Dry. Now we can build the wall. Mix up that cement, please, Dizzy. Right away, Bob. Are you sure you want me to take these bricks back to the yard, Leo? Yes, Scoop. I'm making sure that the site is clean and tidy. OK. How am I doing, Bob? I've got to see my college teachers tonight and tell them about all the jobs I do to help you. You're doing fine, Leo. But I do need to build the wall. Oh, with those bricks. Scoop, come back. Scoop. Safi, your elephant looks amazing. OK, Lofty. Slowly and carefully now. Righto. All done, Wendy. Thanks, Lofty. Now, will you pick up the three bottom sections for the statue to stand on, please? They're in a crate round the front. I'll be with you in a minute. Sure thing, Wendy. See you later, everyone. Bye. See you later. Bye. Time to go, guys. Come on, I'll walk you to Betsy. Thanks for taking care of my elephant, Mac. He looks brilliant. 
see you at the ball. Oh, I'd better back up and try again. Betsy, want to see Sappy's elephant? <gasps> oh no, I've spoiled the elephant. Oh, I should tell Sappy. Uh, Betsy, is Sappy there? Oh yes, she's inside. Chattering on about her wonderful elephant and how pleased she is that you're looking after him so well. Oh no, I can't do it. I can't tell her. So, are you showing me this elephant then? Oh, uh, no, sorry, I can't. I, um, uh, I need to go. Hmm. Oh dear. <gasps> after we've picked up Sophie's mum and dad, We'll go on to the mall. I'm so Yay! excited! Oh, I can't wait to see my elephant! Oh, I'd better tell Bob what's happened. Ah, and... finished. Hiya, how's the wall going? Great. Now to test it. Oh, let me do this, Bob. Tonight I have to tell my teachers about how I help you check things are ready. OK, just give it a... Gentle nudge. Oh. Or maybe I should say, Bob, the elephant's had a bit of an accident. <gasps> huh? Mr. Trunkers, is that you? It is you. Hello, Mr. Trunkers. I'm Muck. I. Oh no. That sounds like Betsy again. Betsy, can you make an extra stop? I need batteries for my camera. Dad! But, Safi, I've bought this camera especially for today. I want to take lots of pictures of you and your elephant statue. Oh, dear. He can't take pictures of a ruined elephant. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, no! Maybe it's better if no one sees what I've done. OK. Ready when you are, Leo. This way, Lofty. And stop. OK. Now, release. Well done, Leo. That was perfect. Hear that? I was perfect. I'm so going to ace it when I see my teachers tonight. <laughs> well, I did all the lifting. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, never mind. Yeah, check me out. Now, all we need is the elephant. But where is Muck? Thank you, Curtis. My new headlamps are super. No more blinking for me. No one will see the elephant here. They're all at the mall. Hello, <gasps> Muck. <gasps> Hello. Wow, nice elephant. Did you know that its paint is scratched? It was an accident. I was going to tell Bob, and then I thought... <laughs> ah! Muck, Bob here. You need to bring the elephant to the mall. Over. <laughs> Oh, now what do I do? Don't panic, Mark. It's only scratch paint. Just tell Bob. He'll understand if it was just an accident. Come in, Mark. Where are you? But I feel terrible if I own up. More terrible than now. Oh, no, you're right. Thanks, Roly. Mark here, Bob. I'm on my way. Let Safi see her elephant like this. I have to get to Bob before they do. He'll know how to fix all this. Is that Mark? Yes, and he's going very fast. Everyone, move out! Slow down, Mark! Now! Oh. Oh, I'm not stopping! Look out! No! Oh. oh dear! <gasps> oh. oh no! Look at my elephant! It's 
almost tea time. The news crew will be here any minute. Oh, I should have owned up straight away. Then we'd have had time to fix the elephant. Now I've just made it all worse. Oh, Safi, don't worry. I'm sure we can fix this. Let's get going. Bob, I think I found Mr Trunkers at the park. But I left him there. Why don't you go and get him once we've finished? I'm sure Safi will be very pleased to see him. Off we go! Look who I found today. Mr. Trunkers! Ooh. Thank you, Mark. I'm so sorry for damaging your elephant. It's all right. I know you didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm really proud of my team. Muck learned from his mistakes. Leo got ready to meet his teachers. <gasps> Oh, no! My teachers! I forgot all about them! Now I'm late! <laughs> the course will start near the pier and end over by the car park. We'll make places along the seawall for people to watch the race, Sky. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> I love the beach! Me too! And we'll build the commentary tower and the winner's podium over there, too. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Any questions? Yeah. What are we building again? It's a motocross course. A race for motorbikes over lots of obstacles that we are going to make with sand here on the beach muck. Oh, wow. I'd love to join in. Me too. I bet I'd be the fastest. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's just for motorbikes. Oh. You can always come and watch. I almost wish I'd entered the race myself. Oh, you can still apply. Maybe I will. But we need to get this course built or there won't be a race. So, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Well done, everyone. Oh, I really wish I could be in the race. Me too. So I've decided to enter. Yay! Oh, go, Bob! My dad will be happy to get your old bike ready. It's not old, it's a classic. Will you come and cheer me on even though you can't join in? Oh, definitely. No prob, Bob. You'll be there, won't you, Wendy? Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world, Bob. It's a good job you've kept it in such good shape, Bob. Yes. I hear you're racing tomorrow, Bob. That's right. I don't imagine I'll do very well, but it's just a bit of fun. And as long as my bike makes it around the course, I'll be happy. Hmm? That was supposed to come off. I'm really looking forward to it. We've got a mystery entrant called the Masked Biker. Oh, really? I wonder who it is. Oh, hi, Bob. How's your bike looking? Great. I'm really looking forward to racing, especially against the Masked Biker. The Masked Biker? Is that a superhero, Bob? No, Muck. It's just someone else in the race. <laughs> it's too tickly! Then why is he wearing a mask? He must be hiding his face because he doesn't want anyone to know who he is, Muck. Ah, he can't be any good, then. You're bound to beat him, Bob. <laughs> I'll just be happy to finish the race, Scoop. Hello, Curtis. Is Bob's bike ready? Nearly. And I've got some transfers to make it look really special. 
definitely this one. I bet even the mysterious masked biker will be impressed when they see that. That one's Leo's favourite too. He's so excited about the race, he wishes he was old enough to enter. <gasps> Look! Ah! Who didn't do it? <laughs> what? Leo is the masked biker, Muck! Curtis just said so. No, he didn't. He said Leo wants to enter the race, but he isn't old enough yet. But if Leo wears a mask and pretends to be someone else, then he can! <laughs> oh, Scoop, you've got a wonderful imagination. Mm. It looks a bit challenging, doesn't it? Are you nervous, Bob? I'd be really nervous if I hadn't ridden for as long as you. No, I just hope my bike doesn't let me down. I bet the masked rider has a much better bike and loads of experience. No, he doesn't. <laughs> huh? Muck means he can't have because he isn't as old as you. Oh. Thanks, guys. But how... No. Hello, Curtis. Come to the garage. Yep, I'll be right there. Curtis needs me to try the bike. We'll see you back at the yard. Oh, the course looks so brilliant. Yes. I really wish we could be in the race tomorrow, too. We can't be in the bike race tomorrow, but we could have a little machine race now, couldn't we? <laughs> All right, then. Oh, dear. Oh, Mark, Scoop! What have you done? Bob, we're so sorry. We only wanted to have a race like you. I know, Scoop. But now there might not be a competition. Oh, no! I've been so looking forward to seeing you win. It'll be dark soon. I don't think there's time to put this right. Then we'll work all night. Please, Bob, let us do this for you. Yes, Bob. Scoop's right. We can do this, can't we, Leo? Yeah. You don't get out of the race that easily, Bob. Uh... <laughs> right, everyone. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I know you can still win the race. Thanks, Scoop. But I don't imagine the masked biker was up all night. Yes, he was, Bob. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, we didn't know whether to say or not, but Leo is the masked biker. <laughs> Goodness. Just when I think you two can't get any more daft. Hmm. But I suppose that could make sense. Wendy, where are you? Hi, Bob. I just wanted to let you know I'm running a bit behind, but I'll definitely be there for the race. OK, don't worry. Hey, did Scoop tell you his crazy theory that Leo is the masked biker? Yes, but don't let that put you off. May the best biker win! Thanks, Wendy. Bye! Welcome to Fixum's first ever beach motocross race! Now, let's meet our competitors. First up is David North. Followed by Julie Walker, Bob the Builder, and finally, the mysterious Mark Biker. Yes, there he is! Go, Leo! Oh, sorry we're late, everyone. Huh? Leo? But if you're here, then who's...? Good luck, competitors. On your marks, get set, go! Come on, Bobby! It's a great start from Bob the Builder, followed by David North and Julie Walker. 
Walker as they come to the first turn. of our winner. Hi, Bob. <gasps> no, it's Wendy. Oh, you knew, didn't you, Dad? Who do you think got our bike ready, son? That's great, Wendy. Yeah, woohoo! Yeah! Well done, Bob. Thank you, Mayor Madison. Why the mask, Wendy? I thought it'd be fun. Besides, everyone loves a mystery. Well done, Wendy. Yes, the best biker really did win. Bob, can I have a go next? OK, gang, we're up early because we've got a very big day. So we're splitting into teams. Mm. Leo, Rowan, huh? and Dizzy, you're coming with me. Oh! Hey! Sorry. <gasps> Ow! Sorry, Muck. Oh, what's going on, Bob? Oh, Scoop. Well, whilst Wendy and her team are going to Spring City, there's also an ice cream stand to be built for Chef Tatty on the beach. Yay! Chef Tatty! But I think you should have the day off and stay here, Scoop. You've done a lot of digging jobs recently and tiredness can lead to accidents. If you look after yourself today, you'll be fighting fit tomorrow. You've got your walkie-talkie on, so you can reach me if you really need to, OK? Oh, OK. It'll do you good, Scoop. Bob, hopefully we'll finish early and see you later at the beach. Yes! Right, off we go! And to the beach. You're so lucky, Scoop. I'd love to have a day off. Really? And what would you do if you had a day off? Um, I'd probably go to the beach. Oh, wait for me! This is such a great spot for a kiosk, Chef Patty. Thanks, Lofty. You know, today is going to be the hottest day of the year. So I was wondering, Bob, if you'd be able to get it built by this afternoon as... Everyone would be desperate for an ice cream. What do you think, team? Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! If only there was someone to play with. Hey, Pilchard! You want to hang out? Or, or play a game together? Whoa. Okay, not sure I know this game. Is it a copying game? Shall I copy you? <laughs> Pilchard? Oh, you fancy a different game? Pilchard! Oh, I wish I was at the beach with everyone else. <gasps> doing for time, Bob? Folks will be wanting their ice cream soon. We're well on schedule, Chef Tatty. Scoop to Bob. 
Come in. Over. Bob here. Over. Hi, Bob. A uh, bit of a situation here back at the yard. Go on. We've got a dripping hose. Go on. Well, that's it. Scoop. We really need to finish the kiosk. So I think the dripping hose can wait. But thanks for telling me and try to get some rest. Bye, Scoop. Oh, the, the only thing is, it, it's dripping quite fast. And I'm just worried that the whole yard might get flooded. I mean, can Pilchard swim if it's an emergency? Right. Better safe than sorry. I'll head straight back. Muck, I need a lift back to the yard. Sorry, Chef Tatty. Won't be long. Perhaps that wasn't quite an emergency scoop. It was a bit of an exaggeration to say the yard was going to flood. Well, it was pretty drippy, so I, I thought I'd better tell you. Hmm. I'd better get back, or we'll be behind schedule on the build. Try to get some rest, Scoop. OK, Bob. I know we've just got here, but are you ready to head back to the beach, Muck? You bet, Bob! Oh, I love the beach. Oh, I love the beach as well. It's so unfair, especially when there's no-one here to play with. Still, as Bob says, better get some rest. Go! Yay! How about a game? We could play I Spy. Do you want to go first? OK, I'll go first. Uh, I spy with my little eye. Oh. That flickering bulb is the most exciting thing I've seen all day. Maybe I should tell Bob, just in case it's actually a fire. Or or it's, it's signalling to aliens. Or, or, or... Ah, oh, just tell Bob. Won't be long now, Chef Tatty. We just need to get the freezer in, then pop the roof on. Terrific, Bob. I'll go and get the ice cream then. Scoop huh? to Bob, come in. Over. Hi, Scoop. Bob here. Hope you're getting some rest. I was trying to, Bob, but then I noticed a bulb flickering. Oh, well, don't worry about that. Oh, OK, Bob. Uh, I just hope I'm not mistaken and it's actually an emergency. Like a fire. Well, you said it was a flickering light, Scoop. You're probably right. It's probably not a fire. Oh, better not risk it. OK, Scoop. Muck and I will be there as quick as we can. Over and out. OK, then. We might as well put this down. So it wasn't a fire, Bob? No, Scoop. A flickering light bulb isn't a fire. I think you might have exaggerated again. Sorry. So, maybe now that's all sorted, I should come and help at the beach. I'm afraid not, Scoop. You're too tired. You don't even know what is and isn't an emergency anymore. It's for your own good. OK? Oh, OK, Bob. Just try to rest. Come on, Muck. To the beach. Oh. Bob's right. I should just try to get some rest. Must get some sleep. Maybe I should try counting sheep. Oh, no, they're boring. I'll try tyres. One, two... What is that smell? Yikes! Oh, double yikes! A real emergency! Nearly there, Bob. We don't want all this lovely ice cream melting. Nearly there, Chef Tatty. Oh. Bob, it's Scoop! It's an emergency! Another one, Scoop? Did you get some rest? No, but there's a fire, Bob! A fire in the yard! Look, Scoop, you need to get rest. Otherwise, you're going to keep on exaggerating these small problems. But Bob! Rest, Scoop. Over and out. Ah! Got to save the yard. But what do I do? I can pick it up because I'm made of metal. So, if Bob won't come to the fire, I'll have to take the fire to Bob. He'll know how to put it out. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, oh, oh! You've got some amazing types of ice cream here, Chef Tete. Thank you. I invented them myself. Do people prefer the pizza flavour to the sardine and spinach flavour? We'll never know, Lofty, if we don't get them in the freezer soon. They'll melt. Fire! <gasps> Fire! Oh, out of the way! Fire! Scoop. Whoa! 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 Fire! Whoa! OK, try not to panic, Scoop. Drop it onto the sand. Oh, it's really hot now! Ah! Oh, 
Oh, no! What have I done? Get back, everyone! But this is a real, real emergency! But I must put the fire out! Oh, the sea's too far away! Oh, I've got it! Great idea, Scoop! Quick muck, copy Scoop! We'll do, Bob! Well done for putting the fire out, Scoop. But you should never pick something up that's on fire. I know, Bob, but I was so tired and confused. Still, I should have listened to you when you said it was an emergency. Yeah, but I should never have exaggerated so much. I'll never, ever, ever exaggerate again in my whole life, ever. <laughs> What's done is done. You saved the yard and, luckily, only the roof's ruined. What about the ice cream? In half an hour, it'll be completely melted. Half an hour, you say? We can do that. So you can fix this? Yes, we can! You made it to the beach in the end, Scoop. Yes, but what a day. I tell you, I'm more tired now than anyone's ever been in the whole world. Really? Because I can already see someone who's even more tired than you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'd better wake him up. Hmm. After I've had another pizza-flavoured ice cream. Here it is, Mr. Bentley. The run-down old playground. We need to do something. Oh, goodness. Woo! Oh, careful. One of you could get. Look out, Mr. B! Oh. 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 Um, could you all stop a minute, please? Sorry, Mr. Bentley, but we can't stop now. We're practicing for a competition. The best sports video will win the title of Coolest. That would make me mayor of the coolest city. I like the sound of that. This old playground would make an excellent skate park, don't you think, Mr Bentley? Oh, my glasses are all wonky. I know exactly who to call. An optician? No. Bob the Builder. Spring City Rockets. Mayor Madison asked me to build you a proper skate park. So you can film your skateboarding video in style. Yes! Can we have a jump, please? And a tunnel? And a skateboard? Um, OK. Can you skateboard, Leo? Huh? Uh, oh, well... <laughs> I bet Leo's an amazing skateboarder. Well... <laughs> yes? Um... Yeah. Of course. I'm wicked at it. Cool! Yeah. Are you fast? Hey. They don't call me Lightning Leo for nothing. Why would they call you that? Because I'm fast. As lightning. Oh. Ah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. This skate park is going to be epic, Bob. <laughs> we'll win the competition for sure. Oh, no. It says here in the rules that we need to have five in our team. There are only four of us. Oh, I'll do it. I'm brilliant on four wheels. Look. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Pick Leo, he's even better! Yes, he's wicked at skateboarding. Lightning Leo, they call him! Really, Leo? Is that true? Uh. But I want to be in the video! Woo! 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 Yes! <laughs> well, we can't take you both. Oh! Hey, why don't you both have a skate-off in the new park to decide who we choose? Can they, Bob? Sure. You'd have to wait till the skate park's finished, of course. Cool! We'll call it the Battle of the Ball! Yay! Leo, are you in? Oh, I, uh, I don't know. What's the matter, Leo? You can skate, right? Of course! 
I'm in! Like Leo! Right, that's settled. But now we've got a skate park to make. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. We need to wait for the concrete to set before we install the pipe and rail. Take a break, everyone. Great! Time to practice my wheelie tricks. Whee! Can we watch you practice, Leo? Um, yeah, I guess. Hang on, where's your skateboard? Oh, I'll, uh, I'll just go get it. Leo! 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 Whoa! Check out Skater Boy. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> just uh, testing the old safety pads. Did you just go and buy all that stuff, Leo? Your skateboard doesn't have a single scratch on it. Um, uh, no. I'm just so good I never get a dent. Hmm. What's that thingy? Ah, it's an action camera. I got it with the equipment. Hmm. Ages ago. <laughs> Look, you switch it on and it sends a live video straight to my phone. Oh. Ah. Hey, we're on TV. Oh, hello, everyone. Cool. Can it film me doing this? Ta-da! Ciao, ciao. Well, let's see how fast you can go, Leo. Oh, here goes. Whoa! Oh. Ah. Are you okay? <laughs> yep, just a bit out of practice. <laughs> Whoa! Ow! Ouch! That is awesome. <sighs> uh, let me uh, try that again. What's this? Must be footage from Leo's camera. Wait a sec. Isn't that us? Oh! 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 Are you OK, Leo? Yes. Oh, the battle of the boards is going to be a disaster. How about a few skateboarding tips? Oh, yes, please, Bob. I didn't know you were a skater. <laughs> Not from me, from Wendy. Three-time Spring City champion. Four, actually, but who's counting? Come on, let's get you standing up. Knees bent, arms out straight for balance. That's it, Leo. Now try it on the board. Oh. <gasps> now use your back foot to push off. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes! Oh! <laughs> All right! I'm amazing! Great work! Now, let's teach you how to stop by yourself. Stop? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that bit. Hey, Leo! What are you doing? Oh, uh, I was just teaching Wendy some of my cool skater tricks. <laughs> Is that right, Leo? The skate park's complete. Rockets, it's time for the Battle of the Boards! Ready, Leo? Let's rumble! Woohoo! Woo! Then watch this. The skate bowl? Leo, wait! <gasps> oh, no! How do I stop? Watch out! Watch out! 
shit! Whoa! Oh no! Are you okay, Leo? Uh, oh, yes, thanks, Wendy. I'm fine. But what about the skate bowl? Oh no! It's ruined! And so's our video! Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have gone into the bowl on my first day of skating. Wait a minute. This was your first day, Lightning Leo. Oh, sort of. Maybe. <sighs> yes. Not to worry, Rockets. I think I know what we can do with that fresh load of cement. The wickedest thing on four wheels is definitely you. You should be in the video. <gasps> Are you serious? Thanks, Leo. <gasps> oh, maybe you could film it with your camera thingy. <laughs> Done it without you, Dizzy. Or without Leo's extra camera work. Right, anyone up for some more skateboarding? Bring it on! No! Wendy, I think Leo needs a few more lessons. <laughs> We're going to build a beach today, team. And this is the perfect place to put it. A beach? Here? But Bob, aren't beaches things you find at the seaside? And uh, do beaches have sand? Yes, you're both right. But we're building a beach here just for the summer using sand from the seaside. We're going to make a city beach so people can take a break from their day to enjoy the summer weather. Ooh, so they can sunbathe and play games and things. That's right, Lofty. It'll just be like any other beach. Not just like any other beach. Our city beach has got to be a blue ribbon beach. What's a blue ribbon beach, Mr Bentley? A blue ribbon beach is the best kind of beach. Safe and clean for the children to play on. No dirt, no mess, no rubbish anywhere. Don't worry, Mr Bentley. We always leave everything clean and safe once we're finished. That's good, Bob, because when the inspector comes, it has to be the cleanest, tidiest beach ever. Uh, hold on, Mr Bentley. I needed that. Sorry, Bob. Can't take any chances. Just one piece of stray litter could cost us the blue ribbon. Oh, Mr Bentley, look. You've missed a bit. Oh. Right over there. Oh, no. Right, team. One blue ribbon city beach coming up. That's right, Lofty. Are you sure it's in the right position, Bob? I don't want it to be untidy. It's spot on, Lofty. Keep it coming. Are you quite sure? After what Mr Bentley said... <laughs> hey, Muck! Steady on! We have to keep the beach tidy, and you're spilling sand everywhere. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> it's OK, Muck. But it's got to be in the right place. This has got to be a clean and tidy blue ribbon beach. We'll have plenty of time to tidy up the beach before the inspector comes. But first, we have to build it. OK, team, let's go. Everybody shout, high five! 
sunshine yellow and seaside blue. These beach huts are going to look great. And the paint should dry in no time on a sunny day like today. Oh, dear me, no. Bob, Wendy, careful with those paint pots. We can't have paint spilling all over the place. It'll leave stains on the beach and spoil everything. Don't worry, Mr Bentley. It's water-based paint. Oh? It washes off easily with warm water. <gasps> ah! <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, my wheelie bin! Oh, dear. We'll never get clean and tidy at this rate, Muck. Sorry, Mr Bentley. The blue ribbon inspector could arrive at any time for the inspection. In fact, they could be here already. Really? Oh, yes. The mystery inspector could be anyone who comes near the beach. So keep alert and please keep everything clean and tidy. Oh, oh that tickles. Oh, hello, Gull. Mr. Bentley says the inspector could be anyone who comes near the beach. But who is it? <gasps> no, probably not. Not them either. No, wait! What if there are two inspectors? What if they've got cameras hidden in their sandwiches? Maybe not. Maybe they're just having their lunch. Look out for the inspector, go! <gasps> oh, the inspector! He's here! That must be him! Oh no! Oh, the inspector! The inspector calls! Huh? Be careful, Muck! Stop! Ah! Oh, Muck, what are you doing? The inspector. What's going on, Muck? He's over there, taking photos of the beach. See? It's the Blue Ribbon Inspector. Huh? He's a bird watcher, Muck. I think the only thing he's inspecting is the bird life. Oh, so he's not the blue ribbon inspector after all. No. Oh, I panicked, didn't I? I think you did. But why? There was no need to. Mr Bentley and Lofty are so good at keeping things tidy, you see. And I'm just so messy. I thought if the beach wasn't clean and tidy in time, we wouldn't get a blue ribbon. But I've told you before, there will be time to tidy up afterwards. We always leave our building site safe and clean. Tidying up before we've finished means it'll take even longer to get it done. Yes, I see that now. Will we be able to finish the beach in time for the inspection, Bob? Yes, if we work steadily and don't panic. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. That's the last of the rubbish for the skip. Off you go. Oh, dear me. Look out! Huh? The blue ribbon inspector's coming now! <gasps> the inspector! Right, Muck. Let's get off the beach quickly. OK. <gasps> <gasps> Litter! I'll get it! No, Muck, leave it! <laughs> <laughs> So, here is our pride and joy, the brand new... <gasps> what am I thinking? It's uh, this way, actually. Uh, no, no, don't look back. Uh, don't look back. Oh, no! Oh, no! No, no, don't panic. Got to pick up the rubbish. How? Uh, mm, uh, 
Ooh, I know. Mila, JJ, Brandon, quick. Come here, please. What's up, Mark? Need some help? And then further to the east, we can see here... Oh, oh, no, no, where are you going? We've got to clear this up. Use your buckets and spades. Sure, Mark. OK. <laughs> it quick as you can uh, oh <laughs> ah. it's too late isn't it we won't get the blue ribbon now never mind muck we did our best I panicked again didn't I maybe just a little bit but this time you tried to put it right and well done for getting the Spring City Rockets to help you clear up the mess. And there's still a lovely beach we've built. We may as well enjoy it. Sounds like a great idea. It's not going home time, is it, Betsy? No, it's ice cream time. You deserve one after all that hard work on the beach. Ice Yay! cream! Jump aboard your very own ice cream van. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. Ding-a-ling-along. Ding-a-ling-along. Ding-a-ling. Crumbling battlements. I think that sandcastle could do with fixing up, don't you, Wendy? <laughs> Looks like a job for Bob the Builder to me. May I suggest one small improvement? What? We got a blue ribbon after all? Yes. The inspector said that never in all her time had she seen such efforts from the whole community to keep a beach clean and tidy. Oh, I can't believe it. That's brilliant. Well done, Team Bob. Now, where's Muck? This is for you to look after, Muck. Thank you for helping us get a blue ribbon for our city beach. Well done, Muck! Bravo! I'm glad we got it all cleaned up. But don't worry, Muck. Our next job is a messy one. Ooh, yippee! I love making a mess! Faster, Lofty. Gallop, gallop. Uh, Leo, I'm a crane, not a racehorse. Uh, then gallop in top gear. Hi, Henry. We're here. <laughs> Howdy do, the horses. Jockeys, please dismount. That means jump down, Leo. <laughs> I'm not a jockey. I'm a cowboy. Woohoo! Well, builders and cowboys don't really mix. Leo, you'll be pleased that we're here to build extra stables for those horses we just saw. They're not just any horses, Bob. They're thoroughbred race horses. They're extra fast and extra nervous. I've been trying to catch them all morning. So please don't scare them again. Can he keep the noise down? Not really, Henry. But I don't want to hear beep beep in my yard, only clip clop. <laughs> well, now the panels are here, we can get started. Don't worry, you'll have your stables in no time. Good. It's the Spring City Sprint tomorrow. Those horses need a good night's sleep before the big race. Right then, team, let's get started. Leo, you'll be unloading stable panels from Two-Ton. Yes, sir -y. Scoop and Lofty, you'll be holding the panels in position while Wendy and I fix them together. Muck, you'll be shifting straw bales. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. <laughs> Two turn. 
This yard ain't big enough for the two of us. Okay, Leo. I'm just going to mosey on down that open road. Thanks, Teuton. You're very welcome. And remember, forwards this time. Don't scare the clip clocks with your beep beeps. Gently does it. So, just the roof section left to attach. That'll hold the whole structure firmly together. And I'm ready to make the horses' beds extra comfortable. If I ever manage to catch them to bring them in. Well, I don't know where Leo's got to, but we'll have to get on and fit the roof without him. Yee-haw! Right him, cowboy! <laughs> when you're ready, Wendy. Lofty, prepare to lower. OK. And lower. No, 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 no! I told you, please don't scare the horses! Oh, sorry, I forgot. This is a racetrack, not a road hill. Last stack of straw bales and we're done! Wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Where are my racehorses? Uh, they went that away. No, they're heading for the racetrack. I'll never catch them now. I think I know how to get those horses back. Wendy, Leo, get ready to close the paddock gate. Scoop, come with me. Partner, let's head him off at the pass. Hey? Eh? Well, not you too, Bob. You're talking nonsense like Leo. Sorry, Scoop. Just head for that gap in the fence. But Bob, how am I meant to keep up with racehorses? Especially extra fast, extra difficult to catch ones. We're not going to race them. We're going to use our own talents. Remember, they're also extra nervous and scared of machine noise. Oh, yeah. Hold up, Scoop. Wait for my signal. Now, let's go! Good work, partner. That was extra noisy and extra brilliant. You know, Bob, I think I might be a thoroughbred machine. Here they come. Ready, Leo? This is your chance to be a real cowboy and round up those horses. Hi. Um... And they're in top gear! Don't worry, I grew up with horses. Here's what we're going to do. Lofty, extend your crane arm as far as you can and as fast as you can. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. <laughs> it's not fast enough! It's not going to reach in time! Wow! I didn't know you grew up with horses, Wendy. Oh, yes, I rode them all the time. Wooden ones on the merry-go-round. Huh? Well, Bob, that was smart work getting my horses back. I hope you've got another good idea about how to get them into these stables before dark. There's nothing for it but hard graft and starting over. We'll get them rebuilt, even if it takes all night. Oh, Muck. I've let everybody down. The stables would be finished by now if I hadn't scared the horses. A real cowboy would never do that. If only there was something I could do to make up for it. Right. Here's the plan. Wendy and Lofty will stay on site with me to rebuild the stables. Leo, you can take Scoop and Muck back to their garages. At least some of us can get a good night's sleep. Even if the horses don't. All that galloping and now nowhere for them to sleep. Oh, they'll be too tired to even walk around the track tomorrow. 
Nowhere for them to sleep. Hang on, Bob. Yeah? <laughs> no, Pilchard, it's not for you. Good night, Muck. Night, night. Sleep tight. Make sure your brakes on right. <laughs> Thank you for giving up your bays for the night. You were right, Leo. Our machine bays are just like horse stables, just bigger. Yep. Three bays for three tired horses. Three buckets of oats and three buckets of water. Ah, I feel like a real cowboy now. Yeah. Look at us all sleeping under the stars. It's just like the Wild West. Well done, Cowboy Leo. You made that into a real Wild West roundup. <laughs> But we did it. Those racehorses will sleep well in their new stables tonight. <laughs> They're not the only ones. Oh, I think the race is about to begin. Zal my pony. Yippee Lovely day, Mayor Madison. It certainly is, Bob. And I'm so excited about the sand sculpture competition today. Have you brought the sand? It's on two tons low loader. Ah, here he is now. Bringing sand to the beach. I've done stranger things, but not many. But why do we need sand, Bob? There's loads here. To make sand sculptures, you need special building sand, which has angular grains mixed with silt and clay. Beach sand is rounded and has very little silt or clay. Huh? Mr Bentley means sculptures made from building sand last longer. Oh, OK. Why don't you and Mayor Madison have a go yourselves, Mr Bentley? We've got enough sand and moulds for another team. Oh, I don't really like to get my hands dirty. Goodness, is that a real sapphire? Oh, this? Uh, yes, Wendy. I've been lent this priceless ring by the Spring City Museum to wear at a ball tonight. It's a teeny bit big, but it goes so well with the colour of my dress. Right. We'd better get the beach set up or there won't be a competition. Can we build it? Yes, yes we you can! have an official weather forecaster for the event, Bob? After all, wind or rain could ruin the sculptures. I'd be happy Ooh, to... Can I do that, Bob? I've got a new weather app on my phone. Of course you can, Leo. You're now our official weather forecaster. And what does it say about today's weather, young man? According to this, the forecast for Spring City is excellent. Great. But make sure you keep checking in case it changes, Leo. 
Yes, Bob. Hmm. Welcome, everyone, to the sand sculpture competition. This year's theme is Under the Sea. And I can't wait to see all your amazing creations. Let the sculpting begin! You can wash your hands at the tap over there, Mayor. Ah. Come on! <laughs> it looks like fun, doesn't it, Wendy? We've got an extra sand mould and plenty of sand. Yeah! What's the weather forecast, Leo? Still sunny, Mr B. Oh? <gasps> no! My ring! What's that, Madam Mayor? My ring! It's fallen off! We have to oh. find it, Mr Bentley! Ah! Don't worry, Mayor Madison. I'm sure we'll find it. We must! I have to return it to the museum tomorrow. That ring's priceless! I was standing next to Scoop when he made the sand blocks, so it must be in one of the sculptures. <gasps> <gasps> hmm? I don't mind looking through our sculpture. As long as there's enough time to build them again. If people really don't mind. Oh. Let's find that ring, everyone. <sighs> I'm sorry, everyone, but I was sure it would be in one of the sculptures. Um... What is it, Jenny? Have you remembered something? Only that I saw you wearing the ring after we started sculpting, so it couldn't be in a sand block. Then it's lost! Gone! Forever! I suppose I'd better tell the museum. Please cancel my appearance at the ball, Mr Bentley. Hang on. I've got something at home that I'm certain will find your ring. Madam Mayor, you shall go to the ball. Carry on sculpting, everyone. Will we have time to rebuild our sculptures, Bob? Of course, Brandon. Wendy, Scoop and I just have to make new sand blocks first. Right, four new sand blocks. Everyone ready to start again? What's that? It's my metal detector, Scoop. And it's going to find Mayor Madison's sapphire ring. Oh! How does it work, then? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I just can't think of a single under-the-sea thing that isn't already being made. So what shall we sculpt? All I can think of is a giant ring. Oh! <gasps> Sorry! It's just a tin can. Oh. Hmm. Lately, it's looking very stormy up there. Just a few minutes ago. Here, look. <gasps> Leo, you've been checking Spring City in the Bahamas. <gasps> the sun always shines in the Bahamas, Leo. But what about here? This is our Spring City forecast. Oh, no. Bob, I've been checking the wrong weather forecast. There's a massive storm on the way right now. But what about the sculptures? They'll all be ruined again. I've got a tarpaulin we could cover them with. But we've got to keep it held down. Think, Bob. What have we got back at the yard? Just the other machines. That's it, Leo. Right, team. We've got sand sculptures to protect. Can we save them? Yes, yes we can! We'll be okay in this storm, Bob. Don't worry, they'll be fine. Where's Mr. Bentley? 
I'm still metal, Mr. Bentley. Ah, oh, yes. Sorry, Philip. Everyone okay? Oh, no prop, Bob. I had a lovely nap. I've never felt so filthy in my entire life. We're fine, Bob. Right, let's have a look at these sand sculptures. Yeah! yeah! What a relief. How long have we got to finish off the sculptures? Just ten minutes. I'm sure about that. <gasps> what can we make in ten minutes? Um... Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks. Oh, it was all my dad's idea. Well done. <sighs> Wonderful. Super! Oh. Very impressive. Fantastic. Brilliant! Well done! Oh. Oh. Right! Ta -da! Oh! Never mind, it's the taking part that counts. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, Wendy, I think we've finally found something we can't build. <clears throat> it's time to announce our worthy winners, Leo and Curtis! Huh? Yeah! Well done! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well done! Thank you. Oh. Sorry, Mayor Madison. Oh. Come on, you can wash the sand off at the tap. No way! <gasps> I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Madam Mayor. I haven't been able to locate you. My ring! It must have slipped off when I first washed my hands. Oh. Mr Bentley, there's no time to stand around looking glum. I have a ball to go to. Yes, Madam Mayor. Mr Bentley, you worry too much. Oh. Do you need a cup of tea? What was that, Lofty? Oh, that's Wendy. She's welding. What's she welding? I don't know. Morning, all. Hope you're ready for action. I'm always ready for action, Bob. Why, Bob? Because there's been a big competition to design the new Spring City Clock. And guess who's won it? Was it us? Did we win? Uh. We didn't enter the competition, Mac. Oh, yeah. The winners are Mila, JJ, Brandon and Safi. The Spring City Rockets! Yes. And this is their design. Oh. Who are the people on top, Bob? They're the old lords and ladies of Fixum, made out of metal. These doors open and they strike the bells whenever it's something o'clock. Is there a prize for winning? Oh, yes. The prize? is that we are going to build their clock today. Today? <gasps> That's right. Today. I didn't know you could make clocks, Wendy. <laughs> I can't. The actual clock part has already been made. I've just been putting together these metal figures. Ah! So that's what you've been doing. Are those the Lords and Ladies? Yes, Dizzy. Can we see them? Not yet, Scoop. They're to be a surprise. So no peeking. Morning. Morning, Morning Leo. Leo. Aha, the clock. Oh, is that brick cladding around the clock tower, Bob? Yes, it is. Huh. I've never done brick cladding before. Can I help build it? If there's time. But it's also recycling day today. So first of all, I need you and Muck to take all our recycling to the centre. No problemo. We'll sort it out in no time, won't we, Muck? No problemo! Teuton's already delivered materials to the site, so Scoop and Dizzy, you come with Lofty and me. Bob, call me when you're ready for the clock and the frame. OK! 
Right. I'd better get back to work. Come on, Muck. The sooner we get the recycling done, the sooner I can help build that clock tower. Whoa, whoa, stop! I've missed one. We'll be back in a bit, Wendy. See ya. Right, Muck. To the recycling centre. In double quick time. Right. Everything's ready and good to go. And at four o'clock, the rockets will be here to see their clock in action. This afternoon? Yes. We'll have to hurry, so we need the concrete mixed straight away, please, Dizzy. You've got it, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Well done, everyone. I'll tell Wendy we're ready for her. Let's go! Shall we load everything now, Wendy? Yeah, I've nearly finished. <clears throat> Don't forget the cardboard box. Cardboard box? What cardboard box? There's a cardboard box over here, Leo. Oh. Ah, that must be it. Ah. Right, I'm ready. OK. I hope there's some cladding left for me to do on the clock tower. I need to practice my bricklaying. Ding, ding. Next stop, the new Spring City clock. Bye, Betsy. Hiya, Bob. We love your clock design. We're so excited! Except, where's the actual clock? Don't worry, JJ. The clock and the lords and ladies are on their way. It will be ready, won't it, Bob? By four o'clock, Safi, just as promised. <laughs> Aw, I'm too late. The tower's already built. Sorry, Leo. We had to get on with it. Never mind, Leo. You can help us finish it up. Phew. Now, Rocket, I've got a surprise for you. Huh? Oh, no! Newspapers? Well, that's not much of a surprise. But where are the metal figures? Leo, this is the box from the garage, isn't it? No, it's the box from the office. The office? Huh? Where did you put the box from the garage? The one with the metal figures inside? Oh, no. I thought that box was... Oh, we took it to the recycling centre. Uh-oh. Does that mean our clock won't be ready in time? No, Safi, it will be ready. I'll just have to go to the recycling centre and find the box. I'm coming too. It was me that took the wrong box, after all. To the recycling centre! No. No. Uh... No. No. <gasps> this looks like it. Oh. Oh, keep looking. Ah, here it is. Uh... Oh, we'll never find it. There are so many boxes. And they all look the same. Everyone's asking when the clock will be ready, Bob. Will it be finished today? I promised, didn't I? <laughs> of course it will. <sighs> we must have looked in every box. I've really let the Spring City rockets down. I better call Bob and tell him we can't find anything. Oh.
Oh, no. I've left my mobile at the yard. Oh, I remember putting it on top of the box with the figures in. That's funny. I know it wasn't there when I took the box. Are you sure, Leo? Yes, the lid was flapping. <gasps> Hold Wait. on. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. Uh, what are you thinking? It's a long shot, but it's worth a try. What's worth a try? What's going on? Maybe, just maybe, my mobile phone fell into the box. OK. <gasps> huh? Found it! Yay! Yes! Oh, now I get it. <laughs> OK, Muck, we've got the right box at last. Well done, Leo. Off we go! We found the box! Yay! Woohoo! Yay! Let's get going, everyone. It's not long till four o'clock. And I promised someone... Their clock will be built by then. It's four o'clock. This is where the lords and ladies come out. City will know who designed the Spring City clock. Huh? Wendy, is the clock really meant to sound like that? <gasps> oh no, not again! 